in the past in the cow calf corner we visited with you about uh, the length of time that you would watch a cow or a heifer during the throes of labor before you'd actually bring her in and give assistance and we've talked about that being about one hour for the first calf heifer and uh, half that 30 minutes for the adult cow a cow that's had calves before we know that if a calf goes through a prolonged stage two of labor or a prolonged delivery process that we'll have a calf that ends up with a respiratory acidosis and that just means that during that prolonged delivery process he was deprived of oxygen for quite a while and there was a buildup of carbon dioxide and some of its byproducts in his body one of the byproducts is lactic acid and that's where the acidosis uh, actually uh, comes from. Uh, the blood pH of that baby calf will be lowered substantially. And if this goes on long enough, it can actually damage the major organs of the calf, including uh, brain damage. Also, those calves that have this severe acidosis are often sluggish and slow to get up to find the teat and nurse. Therefore, they're slow to get that first milk colostrum that has all the disease antibodies in it that gives that calf some protection. Therefore, what we have is, if that calf goes through a long delivery process, a pretty good chance that that calf is more prone to getting scours or even respiratory diseases later in life. Research from Montana has given us a good indication of what happens to the cow if that Stage two of delivery of the calf is allowed to go on and on and on and on. What they did was compare cows that were provided appropriate assistance at the, about the end of one hour if she hadn't made a real significant progress. The others, those that were given late assistance, were allowed to go two hours or longer before assistance was provided. And what you see on this graphic is there was a 17% difference in the percentage in those two groups of cows as to how many were actually cycling at the start of the next breeding season. So a significant drop off in the percentage that were ready to breed in the next breeding season. And it showed up in the pregnancy rates actually being lowered by 20% in those cows that were allowed to have a prolonged stage two of labor. So there's certainly reason I think to not let these cows or heifers just go on and on and on in the delivery process. Go ahead and check them after about one hour in the case of that heifer, 30 minutes in the case of the adult cow. Provide assistance. If you find something that you know that you can't handle quickly, call your local large animal veterinarian and get their help as soon as possible. Hey, we look forward to visiting with you again next week on SunUp's Cow-Calf Corner.